Following Augustus' ascension to the title of Emperor in 27 BC, Rome rapidly expanded. Already, the empire controlled much of the Mediterranean, with lands such as Numidia and Thrace being client states. Augustus spent much of his time organising Gaul, modern-day France, into an actual part of the empire, as beforehand it had been just one singular province. These efforts meant that Rome gradually expanded outwards towards Germania. Rome was initially successful against the Germans, however the empire went too far by taxing the region. This resulted in an armed rebellion and the defeat of a Roman army at the Battle of Teutoburg Forest. Rome later withdrew from Germany and focused on expanding their borders elsewhere. Following Augustus, a few emperors of his bloodline ruled the empire. In this short amount of time, the Romans successfully invaded the island of Britain, helped largely by the patience and methodical tactics used by a general called Vespasian. Augustus's bloodline eventually ended with Nero, who was ousted from power. This led to what was one of many quote-unquote messy times in the empire, where multiple generals were declared emperors by their armies. Eventually, Vespasian was declared emperor and brought some stability to the empire. This period is largely known as the Pax Romana, or the Roman Peace. This was because although the war with the eastern power of Parthia and later Sassanids was still ongoing, there was relative peace in the Mediterranean. This was all until the assassination of Commodus, which again led to another messy time, when multiple generals were all declared emperors by their armies. Things were not so good within the empire either. Indeed, Rome's internal struggles meant that most of the time, their armies were not available to help the locals fend off raids. This resulted in two large portions of the empire splitting away. Emperor Aurelian spent much of his time reconquering these regions. It was also around this time that a new religion was really beginning to take off, called Christianity. Ironically called atheists, this religion believed in one god, and not multiple gods of the Roman religion. This led to Aurelian blaming the Christians for Rome's current problems, with many followers of this religion being put to death in the arena. The second messy time came to an end with the rule of Diocletian, who split the empire into four smaller empires, each led by a Caesar. Diocletian educated the sons of these individual Caesars in the art of ruling, with one called Constantine joining his father in Gaul and Britannia. Constantine was crowned Caesar in Britain by his troops following his father's death and quickly began to take over large portions of the other Caesar's empires. During one battle, Constantine had a vision of a Christian symbol and so ordered his men to paint the symbol on their shields. Fighting in the name of the Christian gods, Constantine won the battle and became the sole emperor of Rome in 324 AD. Constantine made Christianity the state religion, thus bringing an end to decades of persecution of its followers. Wars with the Eastern powers continued, resulting in Constantine moving the capital from Rome to a new city called Constantinople in order to be closer to his enemy. However, following Constantine's death, the problem on the borders only got worse. This was not helped by the empire effectively being split into two now, one Western Empire with a capital that switched between Ravenna and Rome, and one in the East ruled from Constantinople. The East had always been richer than the West and so were able to afford to maintain their military installations. The West however did not have this money and so often would invite invading Germans into their armies, promising these Germans land in return for their services. These Germans were then sent into battle against other Germans who were raiding the Empire. Gradually, the West was withered away, culminating when they refused to pay a band of Germans called Visigoths, who in response sacked Rome in 410 AD. The West would be raided again and again, with Rome eventually falling to a German general in 476 AD, bringing an end to the Roman Empire's rule in the West. Although the eastern portion of the Roman Empire survived, it was more Greek than Roman, and so the fall of Rome in 476 AD is largely considered to be the end of the Roman Empire. Thank you for watching and listening to our videos. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe if you've enjoyed. 
All sources are listed and linked in the description below. I've been the Ancient History Guy, and as always, I'll be seeing you later.